When I was a freshman here, there wasn't a good place to go to see live concerts unless I wanted to go to a basement, which was always, um, I don't, which is fun in itself, but um, it's just not the same as seeing a concert in a venue where you can see the band and hear the band, um, uh, which is a lot different than a basement show. I decided to open the Bishop because at the time I was living in Chicago and I had read in the paper the place called the Cinemat was closing, which had been somewhat of a venue. They didn't do really too much stuff regularly, but uh, a couple years prior to that, when I was living here, a place called Second Story had closed, which had been open for a good 20 years and really was the home for independent, original music in this town. And so, with the absence of those two places, among others, uh, Fester recently has rebranded themselves, not really closed, but kind of refocused away from original music. So, uh, yeah, I mean, the short answer is I just thought there was a need for a place for original music, live original music. Here at Sod, where the semis drive through your veins, dog walkers of the new age, is different from cinema. Well, they still have the same phone number, so people call and ask about movies occasionally. So that's always a problem. But um, I mean, this, the cinema kind of became like a venue. I don't know if it was ever set out to be. And um, you know, it wasn't the kind of atmosphere, I mean the room was smaller, the atmosphere wasn't like what I would say would be a good place for, you know, I, I did go to shows there and I enjoyed shows there, but it, it wasn't like going to a concert venue. It felt like I was you know, in a room at a video store. The hardest part about starting, there were a couple things I guess, getting the money together wasn't easy of course. Um, and really maybe just overcoming some public scrutiny. I think people definitely groaned in town when they learned there's a new bar opening. I'm guessing some people probably did, like, that's the last thing we need. Well, I thought that we did because, you know, there's from, there's really only about three bars in town, literally. There's about eight different Kilroys and they're all called different names but they're the same thing. There's the vid and there's, you know, Places kind of in between those two extremes, um, which would I'd call things like Alley Bar or stuff like that. And so, um, you know, getting the money together, kind of overcoming this perception that the place wasn't needed uh, or wouldn't be used, you know, and the fact that we have 25, 30 shows a month dictates otherwise that it is used. So, you know, that and just kind of finding a location that would be suitable and that would allow us to do what we want. And I think what I try to do, I mean, it's mostly because it's, it's the music that I like. Um, I try to emphasize a lot of Bloomington music more than touring music. Um, just because, I mean, I think it helps the music scene here to have a place that really um, supports and promotes local music and it's the music that I like and I like to see and it's great music so I'm not trying to say that I'm like doing some huge community service by <laughs> by promoting local music here um, because it's just it's what I like but I'm, I'm hoping that it also uh, gives something to the, to, the, to the music community because because I like music.
and the music community here has has given a lot to me. So, yeah, trying to keep that going. Yeah.